this is my family room, and again, this is not the fanciest furniture, but for a family room, it's nice furniture. They were a free gift about 30 years ago. You can't kill these things. You can dance on them. See how sturdy this is? <laughs> what are you doing? What are you, get off. Talking about some, see how sturdy this is? Stop dancing on your furniture. Stupid <laughs> Anyways, what's up? How's it going? Hope you guys have been having a great day so far. And if not, dude, hopefully I can make it better. I promise I will. I uh, actually have not slept, <laughs> if you can tell. Honestly, I've been watching YouTube all night. I'm sure most of you guys can relate. It was like 3 a.m. in the morning. You know, I was chilling. YouTube all of a sudden decides, hey, wanna watch this colonization of America documentary? I think you might enjoy it. Knowing me at 3 a.m., I watched that whole thing all the way through, and now it's 7 a.m., baby. And this water is hitting different, baby. Message to my subscribers, always make sure to be... Mike wouldn't let me finish. Make sure to always stay hydrated. Anyways, today we're going to be looking at a video about a millionaire. Wow, a million dollars. Big deal. She ain't spending none of it. That's right. Today's video is going to be about a cheapskate millionaire. And I guess she's so cheap that she has to serve her husband cat food or something. I don't know. Can you guys hear my parents arguing in the background? Hey, guys, can you keep it down? Anyways, let's just take a look at this title, dude. Multi-millionaire feeds loved one's cat food to save... Mm. I know damn well that is not him eating cat food. Spit that out, dude. I don't know. Have like a, a hamburger or something. I don't know. <laughs> and before this video starts, uh, if you would leave a like, it would really make me happy. I'm going to cut straight to the chase. No bullshit. It really would put a smile to my face. Whatever, bro. Let's just look at this. This is my family room. And again, this is not... Okay, okay, so she's taking us around, getting a nice feel of the place, whatever. Honestly, in my opinion, it's not too bad of a place. You know, it looks pretty comfy. I'd definitely fall asleep on that couch, rest my head, and then... Mm -hmm. You feel me? <laughs> but this definitely does not look like the average millionaire's household. I'm sorry, did I get that wrong? I mean multi-millionaire. I'm expecting a fountain as soon as I walk in the living room. Are you kidding me? Multi-million dollars? Come on! Fanciest furniture, but for a family room, it's nice furniture. They were a free gift about 30 years ago. You can't kill these things. You can dance on them. See how sturdy this is? I got this free from my dad. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Imagine the cameraman. All right, ma'am. <laughs> We get it, you can dance. Why are you dancing on your table in the first place? This ain't no world of dance, go on that show. She really do be dancing on her table though. That's crazy. Honestly, if I was messing with your vibes, I'm sorry. I'll let you continue, you know you're- You look goofy. And I love this table, I've had it for 30 years, and I'll these will outlive me. I mean, she really said it herself. <laughs> Most of the stuff in this room is definitely not no millionaire status furniture type beat. She's keeping it pretty traditional. You know, got the wooden, uh, <laughs> everything by this point uh c cool nice amy has a beautiful home it's large it's spacious and she has nice furniture in it but you don't see a lot of extras you don't see a lot of expensive things bro even grams is geeking over this grams what you doing out of the retirement home oh. gotta stay safe during corona <laughs> nah but she do be speaking facts though she, she's just kind of sitting here saying yeah um she doesn't really have anything pretty in the house and i think she should have something pretty in the house honestly i'm not going to disagree with you this doesn't really seem like normal multi-million dollar uh, people behavior. I don't know. I'm dumb as hell and I'm sleep deprived as hell. So don't expect me to phrase things properly. But yeah, dude, if I was a millionaire, are you kidding me? Mansion, right by the ocean. I'd probably be big chilling in my jacuzzi, probably looking at like, I don't know, stocks. Stunks. I don't think I'd picture myself being in this living room, dancing on my own furniture like I'm in World of Dance. Uh-uh. For furniture in a house like mine of this quality would normally cost about forty to 50000 with all the furniture and accessories and, and artwork. I spent... I would say between thirty-two to thirty-eight hundred for everything. I don't know if y'all caught that, but she just really hit us with a reverse flex. Usually people brag about how much they spend, but this girl's bragging about how much she's saved. I think this is a revolutionary moment that we all need to take in. All the rich flexors of Twitter and Instagram need to all come together. Take some notes from this powerhouse millionaire right here. Amy the millionaire does not own a state-of-the-art TV. I don't have a flat screen TV. I got this lovely big box thing. It's great. What do I need fancy for? I gotta find it funny how her mom is low-key dissing on her. My multi-millionaire daughter does not have a state-of-the-art television. She should be playing Fortnite at 4K 60fps on her 100-inch screen. Like, chill out, Grammy. I don't really know if she needs all that. She's living her best life. Leave her be. I mean, shit, she, she said it herself. You got this lovely big box thing. I mean, it's great. What do I need fancy for? <laughs> it's almost like she's an NPC in a video game or something. I don't know. I just don't trust her. Down here, I have a VCR. One of three to four that I have around the house that I bought at pawn shops because they don't make them anymore. I can get them at the pawn shop for $30 a piece, complete with remote. 
I bet it's 12 years old at least. Damn, grandma stayed dissing on her. Okay, I'm sure I'm not the only one that thinks it's odd that this multi-millionaire is living like this. Because, you know, if I was a millionaire, you know, ocean house, all that stuff. But honestly, props to her, dude. If she want to live her life saving every single penny she can save, then let her. I just don't know why grandma have to be sneak dissing. Amy won't pay anyone to clean her home. So her ex-husband volunteers to do it for free. <laughs> Wait, hold up, hold up. Her ex-husband? Why is he cleaning everything? <laughs> it's like that was an agreement in the divorce papers. Yes, we're getting a divorce, but you still have to clean all of my house. Honestly, dog, what a king. This girl does not deserve you, bro. I mean, I guess they already broke up, which means that they're not to get whatever. He's doing king's work. Saving her $400 a month. If you could start and do the, the toilet, that needs it the worst. Okay. To work here and don't forget to get under the rim because you miss that a lot oh yeah the part under the toilet the part that you miss a lot just clean it up two times harder than you usually do this man looks like he's breaking his back chill on him he is doing the most for you and you are still demanding out of him shame on you i'm glad to help her around the house with the cleaning i do yard work i drive her to her appointment some once in a while this is like free exercise for him keeps him in shape Win, win, win all the way around. <laughs> okay, this is starting to feel weird. I can't really tell if there's like a hint of irony behind this. I'm not sure. It kind of feels like I'm playing an underdeveloped video game. I, I just don't know how to feel. I, I, I don't know what to say. Honestly, why is he agreeing to do all this work for no reason? Like, is he just that bored? He's sitting at home doing nothing? Sheesh. One of the times that I know- Oh, that's her friend? Oh, <laughs> I need to stop. I'm canceled. I'm ageist. Uh, Twitter, cancel me. Whatever you do. Just cancel me already, Twitter. I noticed that Amy was a cheapskate, was. I came to her house. She asked me, did I want lunch? So I said, sure. She fixed me a tuna fish sandwich. As I'm eating the sandwich, I'm thinking, this is a little fishy. How much do you want to bet that she went to one of her nearby lakes, hillbilly hand-fished a tuna, and then just straight up threw it on a plate for her friend? <laughs> Imagine just receiving that. Honestly, I do more for my friends when we're going out to eat and I pay for their bill. You know, it's all out of love. Sometimes you just gotta be a homie. And I'm worth what? Like a few hundred dollars? I'm nowhere near being a multimillionaire. Trust me. What is this? Mike, lunch is ready. And then I looked on the countertop and I noticed there were cat food cans that were empty. And I thought, no, she didn't do this. <laughs> cat food. Cat food. Imagine being served cat food. I don't know about y'all, but I'm definitely not eating cat food, you feel me? It's just not something I choose to have in my daily diet that I have so structurally organized with Doritos, chips, and Mountain Dew. I'm just not fucking with cat food, you feel me? Here, Major, some tuna fish. Oh, great. No, I don't think Amy has actually ever fed anyone cat food, but uh, I wouldn't put it past her to try. Okay, so now I see why uh, she, she actually divorced him. And now I know why he actually does work for her. Both have the same answer. He's crazy. Who goes and eats cat food, dude? Please seek help, dude. That's not something you should be eating. I promise. Your stomach will thank me later. Hey, hey, calm down. Calm yourself. <laughs> hey, are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay by Daniel Caesar? Tuna fish for people, 89 cents. Cat food for cats, 59 cents. Ooh. I just saved 30 cents. Really does look like he's enjoying that cat tuna. <laughs> I feel like it's obvious that you shouldn't feed uh, cat food to actual people. There's a reason why it's called cat food. It's mostly because, you know, the obvious reason. Cat food. C-A-T cat. Pussy. Pussy food. Cat. What, what am I talking about? Cat food is made for cats and not humans? Yep. Something we can all agree on. I have regular business trips to LA, so I drive my car. My car is a 96 Mustang. It's lovely. Some people call it the beast. And I'm almost afraid to drive with her in it because you don't know if it's going to break down. So much for the beast, huh? Her car was so beastly and crazy that it broke down. It broke down. No, like seriously, it broke down and they took it to a repair shop. Let's watch this part. Uh, she's saying she has a slight vibration from the steering wheel going at all speeds. Wow. See? Yeah, you're just completely bald on there. Wow. Along with the tires you need, we got the windshield issue. We got the belt issue. Right. All these safety issues going on right now. 
I feel very uncomfortable letting you leave my facility with the car in this shape. Hey Mike, this is Amy. Listen, I need- So her car was that messed up that they wouldn't even let her leave. This is like a problem that me or one of my teen friends would have. But we're talking about a millionaire. Honestly, if I was her, I'd just be like, fuck it, I'm buying a new car. It doesn't even have to be no Bugatti or Lamborghini or anything like that, but definitely something that's like reliable and that won't break down on you, you feel me? I'm gonna have my ex-husband come and pick me up and he's gonna take me to the airport. Damn, please do not tell me he's coming clutch for you again. My man's really went from cleaning your house to eating cat food to giving you a ride to the airport. Does he think this is gonna like win her back or something? <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, to save you some time, they go to the airport. She actually finesses a free flight from one of the pilots there. Yeah, I don't know how she did it, but she, <laughs> she did. Here's the clip. This is how millionaire cheapskates live. Amy is a mill- <laughs> God, this video is something. I guess one thing that we can take out of this video is uh, definitely spoil yourself sometimes. It doesn't hurt to do it a little bit. Just make sure you don't do it too much. So with that being said, if you did enjoy this video, leave a like. That would just make my day. And make sure to subscribe if you want to see more stuff in the future. I put out videos every single day. And uh, yeah, with that being said, you guys are amazing. I love all y'all. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day or night. And uh, I'll catch you tomorrow. Peace. Okay, thanks for watching. Now subscribe. Keith, subscribe to Pawn Show yes. or else you're gonna yes. get the smoke, just saying.